Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at getting a quick start on adding a third person character controller to your game so you can get testing and everything like that underway without spending loads and loads of time getting this together. So, we're going to look at importing it, adding it, and using the Unity's third person character controller, and then we'll look at retargeting the mesh to either Mixamore or Synity assets because it's usually assets that you'll find in a lot of sales that we'll be able to retarget in a few seconds and you'll be able to use that customize it any way you like. We're going to start by using the starter assets third person controller which you can find on the Unity asset store. I'll put the link in the description. And now if we go back to Unity we can go to the package manager. So to get to package manager you can go window package manager and then on packages you can go to my assets and just type in third person and wherever that may be it'll be the starter third person assets. You can download and import. It may ask you to do some upgrades and you can just agree to that. So you want to make sure that you don't have a main camera in your scene. So then it'll just show that it's not displaying anything. We go to the third person controller folder and we can just grab the either the nested or the parent, which is everything in one because separately you'd have to add the main camera, the player armature and the player follow camera. Now, if we just grab the armature or the capsule, one will have animations, which is the armature and you can retarget that. Now, if we just add that to our hierarchy, you can see that you can right click and we just want to go to the prefab and unpack this completely. And then once we press play, we've got the default third person character controller, which you can run around with WASD. You can control the camera with the Sin machine camera and you can sprint jump and it has all the sound effects and things included. Now we can just disable the canvases if we don't want those to be visible. Now that's the basic setup. Now you might want to use a different mesh or something else which has got a rig to change the default look of this character. So now as an example, you can go to Mixamo and you can sign in, you can create a free account and you can look for a character and I'll just use this character here. What you could do once you've selected the character that you want, you can just hit download. You can put it as an FBX for Unity and you can make sure that it's kept in its T pose or its original position when you record the animations. And once that's done, you can just import the Knight character. Then once it's imported, select the actual imported model and make sure you set the rig to humanoid and then hit apply. This is going to apply the same rigging techniques that we'll be able to use to change the character and match the animations with what we have here. We can go to a materials and we can just extract the materials and also extract the textures. And then what we can do from here is just drag the knight into the scene. And let's say you've moved your character into a different position compared to where this character has just been imported. You make sure that you go into the player armature, the root and go into the geometry. And this is the mesh that we're going to replace. So we can get rid of the original armature that we had or the original character. Now we can add this new knight character into the geometry and because it's not in the same position, you can just right click on the transforms and click reset and it will be put in the exact same place as where it was before. Now we need to go to the player armature slot at the top and look at the animator controller. You can see that it's looking for an avatar and the avatar was the old armature avatar. Now if we click the little find icon, we're just going to search for our avatar, which will be the Knight D Pellegrini, which we had before. And once that's been added, we'll have this character retargeted to our controller that we were just using. And then from here, now we have all the same actions, animations, and control over the character that we've just imported from Mixamo that we can still use exactly like the other controller, but we've just retargeted the mesh to be able to use it. Now again, as a quick example, we can use Synity assets if you've got those because I've got a lot of different Synity assets over the years. So I've got the Polygon Apocalypse here, which has a bunch of characters already. And you can see that the characters are already set on their rig to humanoid, which is fantastic. So we could go into the prefabs, go to the characters slot, and we can choose any of the characters that we might want to use. So we might want this Riot Police Officer so again, we can just drag it straight into the hierarchy. You can see he's been placed there. We can drag it into the geometry of the nested armature. We can get rid of the knight again. We can click on our new Synity asset. We can right click and reset its position. And then you've got to remember that you go onto the player armature again and look at the animator slot. You look for an avatar, but you see the avatar isn't specific to this because if we type in Riot, we don't actually find it. Now, with that being said, if we go back on the Riot Officer and look, its avatar is actually just character's avatar because they all share the same avatar. 
So you can have that selected and go back to the player armature, drag the character's avatar into the slot. And then when we press play again, we have the character running around exactly as we had it before with our brand new character, even with the Cinity assets. Do let me know what you think, or if you have any suggestions, be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings, and everything you can find in game dev. Be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 170 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store, including massive savings on my website, and a big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Manos Berikas, Walter Dunson, Rennie Leisure, Lisa Faden, Daniel Getajank, Ishikawa Takuya, Hush, Thomas Mersaleski, Callum Murray, Mark, Rondu Marvin Church, Hoagland Nigan, Curry for Life Gaming, Sungji Park, Brandon Mannion, Austin Certain, G. Moikwade, Duan Cooper, James McCarthy, Johanna Lixon, Leslie Winter, Heather Fletcher, Connor Rose, Mark Vacan, Jose Herrera, Andre Ferreira, Larry Antu, Patrick Dominowski, Dylan C, Pablo, Liam Gray, Eric Young, Weiblin Lin, and Dennis Foreman. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.